an info truck uh, poll that ended on 2nd July after starting on July on June 22nd actually June 22nd to July 2nd has sent shockwaves right across the country why because it shows that if elections were held uh, today businessman uh, Buzeki would beat incumbent uh, Wasengishu governor Mandago uh, resoundingly actually the difference is more than 10 points yeah because uh, Buzeki uh, polled 54.2 percent of the vote while uh, Mandago had uh, 42.1 now honestly speaking a lot can happen in politics but realistically speaking uh, that kind of uh, lead is very very difficult to be able to reverse in the 20 something days we have to the general elections now the purposes of this uh, recording is not to boast because I know I have another, I have another recording where I predicted a Buzeki win actually I didn't predict I said uh, I showed how Buzeki can actually win this race here it was not a prediction so this is not a chest thumping uh, recording rather it is to point out something here that is very fascinating and is a pointer to the general elections we are very 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 close to and we are about to face if you allow me I'll call it the Buzeki factor okay the Buzeki factor now uh, this seems to be a trend that has been seen right across the country okay what trend am I talking about the trend where the electorate refused to be put in compartments the effect where the electorate refuse to take instructions okay this trend is new in Kenyan politics because in the past we have seen the easy way to win an election in Kenya is to put the poor Kenyans in uh, certain compartments tribal mostly compartments party compartments and then order them go and vote six piece yeah right across yeah just going to the booth on polling day and then just look for the party slogan or the party color and then just tick 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 without thinking yeah just vote six uh, six piece now this is one election where six piece voting will not fly and that is the indication here very very clear indication i need to re i think i need to remind you what happened in nairobi uh, we had a very spirited attempt by certain powerful forces within jubilee to ensure that the jubilee candidate for nairobi would be one peter kenneth okay and of course they did their calculations very carefully these are people who know the political terrain fairly well they did their calculations and they knew that the population of uh, house of mumbi in nairobi is huge okay or let me put it in another way they knew the population of jubilee supporters in nairobi who are from the house of mumbi is uh, almost over 90 percent yeah it's very high okay um maybe 90 percent is an exaggeration let's just leave it at very high okay so they thought that you know going by past trends it was very easy to put up uh, peter kenneth and then what would happen is that the electorate would completely forget who uh, mike sonko was and they would vote emphatically for peter kenneth and it'd be through okay then of course there's the other factor that nairobians are fairly well educated people they don't believe uh, in being led by somebody whose uh, uh, educational background is dodgy like mike sonko yeah so it was game shot as far as they're concerned ho 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 uh you know what happened a lot of things happened in the end on polling day those are very very emphatic win for mike sonko now looking down at the results trying to you know crunch the numbers and uh, break down the results it was clear that a huge percentage of uh, house of mumbi uh, uh, people voted sonko against their own kenneth okay yeah <laughs> many people missed that but we didn't miss that in this channel i think we covered that you remember now uh, if we can just briefly go back to wasengishu if these polls are to be believed and taking the statistics on the ground very carefully it tells us one thing it tells us that buziki is also going to receive a fairly impressive amount of votes from the nandi yeah csm badlika 
or if I can put it the way our Louis brethren put it, bindu vi change anka. Yeah, things change. Now I've been covering politics for decades and I've been very amused when I see some of the comments here of people swearing, oh Chris you're wrong, or they swear one way or the other that this must happen, that you're wrong, Mandago must win, you know, you're dreaming, so and so must win. Now if I know anything about politics, it is this, politics is exciting because it's totally unpredictable, anything can happen. And therefore to have a strong position on any candidate is to me stupidity. Okay? It is uh, immaturity. Yeah? Because even if a candidate has a hundred percent or close to hundred percent following in a particular constituency, anything can happen. Maybe let me just give you a brief example and we have a video to illustrate that. Uhuru Kenyatta in his first venture into politics lost the seat which belo used to belong to his father, uh, the late Jomo Kenyatta, and he lost it at the 11th hour. Yeah, He had support right across the constituency. Okay, Now what did his opponent do? At the very last minute, the opponent pulled off a move which made Uhuru Kenyatta lose those elections. You can catch that video and find out what that opponent did. It's here on uh, YouTube. In fact, I'm going to place it in the comments area, in the uh, video description area and in the comments area as, as well so that you catch it because I don't have time to go into the details of that now, for now. Yeah, But my point is, in politics, anything can happen. Therefore, when you have a strong position, even I don't have a strong position. I did not say Buzeki must win. No, 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 no. You analyze politics, you say this is what is on the ground at the moment, and then you wait and see what's going to happen. You could be wrong, you could be right. That's how politics is. Okay. Now in the second part of this recording, uh, I'm going to introduce something which will be very interesting for most of you, and I will tell you why this Buzeki factor is going to make it that much harder to rig these elections. Okay. Catch you there. As usual, you know the drill. Look out for the um, link top left hand corner of uh, this video which is there right now click on it and you should be on that video this is chris kumekucha see you there in a moment <laughs>